another sort of a subject to talk about today, it's just, well, a little subject, it's an interesting one that someone, um, a mate of mine, sent me the article to. And no, it's not a crow with a fucking steak knife in its mouth. Fuck me! How many more times do people need to send me that picture? And how slowly do these people need to go? Come on, bro! Move that sh- oh, for fucking hell. Okay, so. I'm just going to make it clear here, I have nothing against vegetarians or vegans or anything like that. In fact, my sister is vegetarian, as is the friend that sent me the very article I'm going to talk about. But it's an interesting one. Can vegans eat jellyfish? And you're going to be like, of course I can't, they're fucking stupid. Well, the basis of this article is, sort of, the argument, is that vegans can't eat things that can suffer. But it's not exactly, you know what I mean, it's like, they can eat carrots and cabbages and stuff because, you know, they don't have any conscious thought or brains or nervous system or anything like that. They can't suffer when you kill them. They are living things, after all. But they can't eat things like cows and pigs and chickens and, you know, things with a brain and nervous system and the ability to feel pain and that sort of stuff. Well, jellyfish don't have a central nervous system. They don't feel pain. They don't think. In fact, generally, a jellyfish is just an automatic program of just pulse, pulse, pulse. So, is that okay for a vegan to eat jellyfish? And as such... Okay, there was plenty of room. Just didn't want to go over the mud, thanks mate. Um, oh, look at the slushy ice. Where was I? Yeah, um, and, and can companies put jellyfish in stuff? and say it's okay for vegans. And with that logic, yes, it's perfectly fine for vegans to eat jellyfish and for companies to put jellyfish in vegan okay products. I mean, pheasant, if you're, um, if you're gonna say, no, 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 you can't do that, you can't do that, well then equally, you cannot eat carrots. So basically now, jellyfish are carrots of the sea. What a brilliant <laughs> freaking argument that I'd never even considered before. I don't know why it never came to me. It's not like, a, it's not me trying to say, oh, people need to eat meat. I, if you can not eat meat, then yeah, good for you. No problem with that. Humans do need to eat less meat, it is true. And I mean, I don't eat a lot of meat, but I do eat meat most days. Not all days, but most days. It's like the whole would you eat insects argument thing. Because it would make so much more sense for uh, humans to eat insect protein rather than like bovine protein. But people are very funny about it. Now I understand, if you're going to, if someone gives you a freaking cricket, you know, here's a cricket, eat that. Yeah, you might feel a bit weird about it. But once they um, turn it into like insect flour and make biscuits and stuff out of it, it's been proven that people, A, don't have such a problem with it and B actually quite like it so why not and it's gonna have to happen it's gonna be it's going to increase over the next five years I think you will see like insect protein biscuits on supermarket shelves it's gonna have to happen and it's cheap but one of the reasons it's so good is to produce a kilo of um, insect protein is massively cheaper and better for the environment than it is to produce one kilo of beef but still, people are very funny about it. But then again, I do like to remind people that, you know, do you eat chocolate bars? You do? Okay, that's good. You're eating insects. You're like, what, what the fuck are you talking about? In the food, like, guidelines, there is allowed to be so many pieces of insect in each chocolate bar, or any food stuff, to be honest with you, and it's an acceptable level. If there's loads and loads in it, then it's not, there's the llamas again. I wonder if I can actually attract one this time. Oh, I'll go and do a Yui. Um, there is an acceptable level. So you're eating bits of insects regularly without maybe even thinking about it. Um, where's my best place to put... Oh, fuck. Um, I don't want to go on the mud. Uh, oh, fuck it. If anyone comes along, I can move for them. Yeah, this is how cold it is. <laughs> you see this mud, you're like, hey, I'll squidge on that. Oh, well, that bit did, but... 
This bit didn't. Hello? Come and say hello? 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 Do not make me look like a fool twice in a row. There is a fly. It is freezing cold, and there's flies crawling all over this. They're everywhere. What the? No, they're absolutely smothered. This is weird, because insects shouldn't really be able to be around in these temperatures, but I've noticed that this year, strangely, there are flies everywhere still. In fact, I have a story, and if I can find the piece of video on my phone, I'll show it to you. Um, but I'll get to that in a minute, because I'm trying to attract some llamas, alpacas. I'm not sure. I'm thinking llama. Maybe. I don't know. It's got a big head. What does that mean? Hello? H Hello? Do you know you lot are the most unfriendly, crappest animals I've ever met? Yeah, you looked then, didn't you? Would you eat a jellyfish? Because you're technically vegetarian. Well, I suppose you're probably vegan, actually. Or no, because you probably eat insects and worms by accident. And I bet you've eaten a pigeon. Right, well, screw them. <gasps> this is weird. Look, you can see the water running underneath the ice. Shall we take a picture for Instagram to show that I'm out riding in the freezing freaking cold? If you're not on my Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, get on there. Because I do share some funny shit. But maybe, I don't know. What a beautiful day. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed, listen. Nothing. No cars. No noisy motorbikes. Nothing. It's just peace, quiet, lovely nature, unbroken serenity. Beautiful. <laughs> I actually made that crow wobble in the air. That was good. Ugh. Okay, yeah, so the thing about the flies, going back about four weeks now, so we're talking around Christmassy time ish, we noticed quite a lot of flies in the house. And it was like, what the, f where the fuck are they all coming from? There was like five or six flying around my room. You know, they were being a bit slow because it's a bit cold, and they're being those annoying shits that keep come back and land on your fucking leg, and then you'll just shoot it off, and it'll fly around the whole room, come back and land on the same spot ten times in a row. Oh, fucks. Anyway, so. I'm just telling you, fuck off, fly. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, the next day I come home and my sister's telling me that there was like loads, loads of flies everywhere. And I'm like, what do you mean loads? She's like, no, there was like 200 flies. And I'm like, no, there's not 200. You're just exaggerating. No, 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 there really was. My brother came round. First they started like using this spider vacuum, you know, because my sister's scared of spiders. So she's got this like spider vacuum. They started collecting with that and then realised, no, fuck this, and got the hoover out and just started hoovering up flies. The house is pretty clear by this point. And the next day, it's freaking full again. So then I go around with some, I'm sorry, I don't like killing things. I really disagree with it. When it comes to having a house full of hundreds of flies, you've got to do something. So I went chemical warfare on their ass. If I can fuck the Geneva Convention, this is, this is war. Sprayed the living shit out of them with their fly spray. And uh, yeah, the next day there is just dying and dead flies, freaking every. You know, fly spray kills in seconds. No, slowly kills in several hours. I've discovered. But anyway, here's a little bit of video. See, we're going along the shelf. Oh, there's a few flies. There's a few flies. Oh, there's fucking millions of them. This is a tiny percentage, and they're on the floor, and they're just. It's ridiculous. Now the thing is, there shouldn't have really been any flies around by this point, let alone that many. Now I know we had a very mild winter at that point, but it's just still weird that they're still around. Yeah, karma's gonna fuck me. I don't like killing anything, but mosquitoes I do not mind killing, I'll be honest. Um, and flies, when they're in your house, and there is hundreds of them, you have to make some exceptions because it's just not safe. Well, it's they're very good at cross-contaminating and shit, and, you know, no thanks. Don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel, and buy a sticker, and other stuff. And don't forget, fuck off, fly!
They want to know how I do it with four kids But only spitting bars, can you really afford this? Nah, I'll be brutally honest 